other fellow cyclist. This is Simon Kessler from Simon Says Cycling. Today I'm going to give you three tips on climbing in a group ride. In Florida, where I live, just north of us, we have short, steep climbs that are actually very, very intense. And when we do them in a group ride, many times this is where the race or the ride is, is broken up. Uh, these efforts typically are anywhere from 30 seconds to one minute. And uh, many times I'm observing the riders and, and seeing what they're doing. And today I wanted to give you three tips um, that may help you the next time you do a group ride where there's short, steep climbs. Now the first tip is positioning, right? You want to position yourself towards the front of the group. So make sure you get to the front before the climb. At least half a mile before the climb, make sure you move to the front of the pack. Ideally using some of the other riders to get to the front. So if you see other riders moving up, jump on their wheel, let them tow you up to the front so that you save some energy. But that's number one, very important to get to the front before the climb, especially if you're not one of the strongest climbers, because as the race, or as the, the pace increases, you'll have more room to work with. If you're going to get dropped, you're going to have to have the whole pack pass you uh, before you get dropped. If you were at the back, in other words, the other way around, you would actually have nowhere to go but off the back, right? So at least when you're at the front, you have a lot more room to work with and uh, leeway to move through if you're not the strongest climber in the group. So that's number one, move to the front before the climb. Number two is change gears before you put real pressure on the climb. So I see many times riders come into the climb from a downhill, they come in with a lot of momentum, but they're over geared, right? So then they start the climb and then they're trying to change gears uh, when they're applying the maximum amount of force to the pedals and what's happening many times is that gears are jumping and slipping uh, or not changing because of the the real force on the pedals so rather get into that gear um, before the climb and kind of overspin if you were with the momentum coming into the climb and then try to keep that momentum going um, versus trying to change gears when you're un under a lot of torque and a lot of pressure because many times uh, gears will not work that well um, so that's number two. Make sure you're, you're a little bit easier gear coming into the climb, nice high cadence, the, the gear more or less that you can climb the climb. Uh, get into that before you apply that real pressure to avoid any issues with gear changing. And the last tip I'm going to give you is mentally prepare for that climb because let's face it, some of the hardest part of cycling is, is climbing. That's where it's going to hurt the most. That's where the attacks are going to come. So mentally really Prepare yourself for one to two minutes or however long it's going to take of intense suffering and really holding on because if you can hold on to the group for that one or two minutes, you know that people are going to ease up after that. They're going to recover. They're going to grab a, a drink of water. But if you've lost them, you're going to have to keep chasing while they're recovering and uh, that's not a good position to be in and many times you won't get back to the group. So really dig that extra bit deeper for the climb, mentally prepare ahead of time to really dig deep, really suffer uh, one to two minutes, tell yourself it's just a limited time for you just to hang in there and if you do, then you'll stay with the main group uh, going forwards after that. So hope you guys enjoyed the tips today, have fun on the bike this weekend.